What's up, guys? Quick intro. As always, welcome back to the channel. Love you guys for watching my uh, watching my content, and you guys have become my YouTube family. Loving it. Um, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, did I miss some some base things or whatnot? Um, but as we get into this video, uh, I learned how to add chapters, guys. So feel free to easily bounce around and, and see what you want to see. And man, guys. As always, be safe out there, look out for one another, and ride on. Let's dig into this video, shall we? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It finally flipping stopped raining. Um, I want to dig in and dig into here and show you guys what's going on. I've had a chance. I've been playing with my Grom. And guys, man, this... Man, this Cruise Outbacker M14 folding tool set, man, up link in description. Man, I, I dig this thing. I've been doing some work over here. Let's see, I found some old uh, Universal uh, knuckle busters on there, which they I got to do some modifications. They won't fit on the Grom stock. Um, I use this. I pulled off the entire tail tidy. Uh, the only thing I wasn't able to do so far with this, I wasn't able to get these stock blinkers off because it had this plastic housing in there, and I couldn't get that 14 in there. So I had I had to go grab I had to go grab a 14 millimeter wrench. But hey, that's no biggie. But man, I I so far, man, guys, I'm I'm digging I'm digging this little tool. Let me let me show you. Hopefully you can see here. Let me show you what all we've got here. We have got, you have got, if you get one of these, you'll have this too, man. This is pretty sweet. Uh, we've got the 8 millimeter. We've got the 12 millimeter. And we've got the infamous 10 millimeter. Man, all three major metric sockets. Uh, we've got a 14 to 13 millimeter wrench. Uh, this doesn't apply to my Grom, but this applies to my, my 300L. And then once I upgrade my, get some spoke rims for that Grom, this will work. Then we've got uh, three different sets of spoke wrenches so man keep your spokes tight keep your wheel from going out around like our 300 flipping l's and then we've got a nice uh is this is not a phillips i, I forget what they call it all these metric bikes guys if you don't know it's not actually a number two phillips it's actually a special bit um this one here if you could see it's got a like a flat tip on it it's not pointed so this is this is the bit let me see if it says it on here what it is um, yeah, it says Phillips, but it's not, it's the one for, for this here. And then, and then also we've got this here, but this is pretty cool. Um, it's even got a little divot to hold your socket from falling off. So man, you can get some pressure on it, which is nice. And then also, so we've got that, we've got that, we've got our sockets. Now we've got our hex wrenches. Oh, and we use this wrench here. It's it's got like a lock there that you can actually wrench with it, but I'm not really sure how useful these wrenches will be. This here, I guess if you get your eliminator kit, I actually was able to reapply these with this wrench. There were there was enough room here to get to get these on, which was pretty neat. I just couldn't get them off with it, but it's okay. I was just really trying to get some use with this, get some hands on it. Now, as far as these other wrenches here, let's put these back so I don't lose them. All right, we've got a little holder for our sockets, 10 miller, 8 millimeter, and 12. And then we have got, let's get this folded back in. Very nice, compact, guys. Where's my little, okay, here we go. And then we've got our hexes here. We've got a 6 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 4 millimeter, and what's that last one? 3 millimeter. I'll have to check on the 300. I want to say we had a 8 millimeter on that 300. I'm not sure, but but we'll check. But so far, man, guys, I'm impressed with this. Go check it out. Ah, here's some other tools he was working with. Now, this is something I really, I really wanted to dig into here. Uh, we'll do another video on that. Or actually, we might just throw it in right here with us, guys. But let's just do this while we're here. And we'll call this, man, important accessories or something. I don't know. But this is our recon medical. Let's show you what comes in here. First, we've got the emergency rescue blanket. 
So if depending on your weather, keep your body heat in, save it from hypothermia or, or um, that other one there. What's it called? Anyways, up oh, and we've got our trauma bandage. Man, guys, these these right here come in handy. And this will be something you'll thank, thank you'll be thankful you have, and you never needed to use it. Um, actually, I, I used one of my trauma bandages here uh, a few months ago. Man, my, my my male pit bull puppy, he was playing next door, and he sliced his paw open on on some tin, and it was bleeding. Went straight to my trauma kit. Man, I grabbed my my trauma bandage and wrapped that some bitch up because it it was it was gushing blood, and and I was able to I was able to control the bleeding to get him to the vet to get him sewed up because it was, dude, it looked like a water hose, guys. It was bad. So we've got our trauma bandage and then we've got our compression bandage here, which is great. And like I said, this is a bleed kit. So this is everything to keep you from bleeding out. Uh, we've got our tourniquet here, which you don't wanna, you don't wanna keep this in the plastic. So we're gonna go ahead, because if you need to get to it when you're using it, Man, you don't want it, <laughs> you dang, you don't want it to be freaking hard to get to. So we're just going to get it. And actually, man, they gave us a nice little, nice little bag here to put it in, which is nice. So, so go ahead and get that prepped. Have that prepped ready to go, guys. We'll put it in a little, nice. that gave us a nice little bag there, which is great. Um, look, our, look, I need a boo-boo kit. I'm going to cut my finger on something. Always cut myself, man. Look. Look at my nut, man. Unbelievable. I got to start wearing gloves. Learn how to use it. Make sure you know how to use it. And also make sure you know when to use it. So this will keep somebody from bleeding out. And, I, I, man, I looked at a lot of these, these trauma kits, these little mini trauma kits here. And a lot of them had good contents. But this was really the, the nicest and really about the only one that I saw that actually came with a pair of shears. Um, guys, you got to have these. Man, if, if your buddy lays his bike down, you lay your bike down. You got to get to that wound. You, you got to stop the bleeding. This is how you're going to get to it, guys. So, man, you guys are out riding the back country where somebody's, you know, it's going to be hard to get to you. Man, the most recent accident that I've heard of was actually, uh, it was at Off-Road Park. I had his snorkels. It was on old Can-Am 1000, guys. And, man, he willied that sucker, and it caught him in the throat. And nobody, nobody around him had any first aid gear. Um, I doubt they had any first aid experience, man, and the poor guy, bless his soul and his family, but he bled out before any help could get to him. So I'm telling you guys, this is, this is a must have if you're out riding, uh, especially if you're not, you know, in the public and you start venturing off, you know, on your own into the back country, you got to have your little trauma kit. So like I said, this here is a nice little kit to start and then it's actually pretty flipping compact so this is what you want to do this is what i recommend start with your little trauma kit ah i gotta get it in there get in there and then you start with this and then you add your boo-boo kit like see right now man if i had a little band-aid see i cut my little finger just rub some dirt in it it'd be okay so if you don't have any duct tape or electrical tape or dirt put your band-aids in here your neosporin and Man, you'll be surprised how many times you're like, oh shit, I need a band-aid or man, if you get cut by a briar deep, man, just you'll have your you'll have your ouchy boo-boo kit. You definitely need that. Hmm. Ah, that was weird. I heard a little beep, man. I was like, shit, am I not recording making this flipping video for you guys? All right. Oh, man, we're not going to talk about those. All right, we're not going to talk about that. That is sweet. Okay, now, um, this does not apply to my 300L. This, this, this right here does not apply to you uh, you spoke wheel guys out there. But if you got a spoke rim, you know what you need on that, spoons and whatnot. I've got another video on a front fender back for that. And you basically just need spoons and a tube, a front tube. Now, for you uh, non you tubeless guys, guys, this is a, man, this thing is tiny. I mean, look at it. It is, I mean, here, let's, you guys all know what these are, guys. I mean, look, it's, it, it's very compact, packed, it's very light. Uh, this is a Tusk tire repair kit, tubeless tire repair kit. 
And I, like the others, I'll have a link down in the description, guys. You can check this out. This is a really cool kit. And I'll be using this until I get my rims upgraded on our, our off-road Grom project. And let me show you what all's in here. Okay, of course, if you've never plugged a tire, you got to have your cleaner. And then this is where you put your plug in your tire. Let's see what else we've got. Man, we've got little, little, three little CO2 cartridges. And then we've got our CO2 cartridge adapter. So this here, boom, you pop on there. And then here is where you put your air in your tire. Boom, boom, three of these should be enough to get you where you're going. All right, we've got a nice little gut remover. What else we've got? All right, we've got some rubber solution, gum and solution. So this is what you want to, if you've never done this, guys. Oh, wow, it comes with a, man, this thing's gonna go wild. Oh, and these are the good ones, the orange ones. A lot of your cheap tire kits, like from Walmart, they come with the black uh, plugs. Man, they, ah, they're okay. Um, all the tire plugs I ever used over the past, man, guys, these orange ones, man, these babies right here freaking rock. And, man, I love these. So you got your rubber compound here. It's get on there. It actually, it's, it's basically some, like, rubber glue, cement glue. Get in there, and that helps you seal your, your puncture. Let's see, we've got these little patches here. These probably won't do me any good um, for what I'm running here. Um, actually, this looks like a good sidewall patch here, but I am not, there's no way I'm gonna go out in the field and, and pull a tire, especially this little Grom, guys, as small as that rim is. If I'm in a situation where I, I blew out my sidewall, I'm just gonna ride it, ride it off the rim. Um, there's actually, we've actually got an option for that and, and I'll pick a kit up and I'll do some testing on my Can-Am. I got one Can-Am out there that's got some tires going out and they actually make a nice uh, sidewall ceiling kit. We'll see how that lasts up. Here's a, a score. This score is for your pads, which I'm not going to put those back in here. Oh man, dude. Huh. Man, it even comes with this nice little razor blade. So your little razor blade, once you put your plugs in, you want to cut off your excess. That way it doesn't you know, catch on things, pull out, whatnot. You always want to cut off your excess. So, man, this, guys, this is actually pretty, oh, man, it even comes with a um, tire pressure gauge. And this is a nice, this is a nice little kit. Man, I am, I am impressed. It's even got some spots here whew, where we can put our, put our items. Let's see, let's roll that back in there. Get that in there. We had our, we had a rubber compound. We had our we had our co2 actually let's put those down so we don't damage those threads boom 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 and i'm actually let's see here we have got yeah these are both the same i'm, I'm going to toss one of these two as a spare i'm only going to run one of these we don't that's just an extra we don't need that that'll save us a little bit of weight too all right let's throw that back in there and we've got that, and we've got that, and man, this is, God, this is a nice little kit. This is a nice little kit. I wonder if we can fit, nah, I don't even want to try. Nah, we'll keep that, that, God, that's pretty nice, man. Link in the description, guys. This is, and if you watch my other video on the tail bags, tank bags for that Grom, man, I'll show you how these fit in in, uh, in those bags and they fit man they're pretty they're pretty compact guys i like this stuff so so as we close man we've got our cruise tools outbacker m14 man so far I, i'm digging it man I, i'm i'm probably going to use this more at the house because it was just so handy i didn't have to go get this i didn't have to drag out flipping 20 different tools you know like this to use one one piece off of it yada yada uh, bleed kit, add your boo-boo kit, and then if you're running tubeless, uh, touch tire repair kit, and if you got a spoke wheel, make sure you got your, your spoons and your front tire tube, guys, so with that, right on, guys, appreciate you watching.